Hey there, it's Chris Betcher here. I mentioned on Twitter today that I'd been playing with um, Linux apps on Chrome and on a Chrome OS, a Chromebook, um, and a few people were asking about it. So I thought I'd just try and do a little demo. So the first thing you need to do is first of all, make sure you've got a Chromebook that does support Linux. And you can tell by going to the settings and just looking in here. And if yours says Linux beta, then uh, you should be able to do this. If you've got an older Chromebook or one that's not supported, it may not say that and you won't be able to. So one of the best places I've found for information on, on doing this stuff is, uh, where is it here, somewhere here, Chrome Unboxed. Um, Chrome Unboxed has a, a great um, series. Uh, it's a great website, but they have um, a whole series on installing stuff uh, on Chromebooks using Linux. So I'm going to have a crack at doing this one called Blender. Blender is a 3D application. Uh, and the command is simply sudo apt install Blender. So what you need to do after you've enabled Linux on your Chromebook, it will give you a Linux terminal. Uh, let me just clear this one. So we type in sudo to go to super user apt, uh, and then it was install Blender. Now it won't be the same command for everything, but I'm amazed at how much stuff I've installed using that simple command line. So what it does is it goes out and checks the dependency trees and the package lists and stuff online. Uh, yes, I want to continue. Then it goes and does its thing. It's grabbing all these packets from or packages from um, Debian. Uh, Debian.org, and it's currently installing. There's a little progress bar down the bottom there. So I'm not sure how long this will take, but uh, I'll give it a couple of moments. Uh, I'm using the free version of Screencastify to record this, and I only have a five-minute limit, so hopefully this will move on pretty quick. Uh, okay, that's going good now. So yeah, basically, uh, you install the Linux, oh, you enable Linux on the Chromebook, then you uh, then it will give you a Linux terminal. Um, if you've never used Linux before, it may seem a little daunting. Um, I'm certainly not a Linux guru by any stretch, but I've dabbled with it. Um, and then uh, once you've got the terminal up and running, you simply have to type in the commands to uh, install from a, an online repository, which is what you're seeing happening here. Um, and it's just going and grabbing all those files and installing it on the Chromebook. Um, <laughs> the hard part, of course, is knowing what to type, um, but you can go and find websites that will help you out with that. So there you go. That looks like that's done. Now, if I just minimize this, uh, just clear this up, and I go to, uh, if I go in here to my launcher, um, you can see in here, there it is. There's Blender. And so if I launch that, it's actually launching as a standalone application within Chrome OS. So I haven't installed a Chrome desktop environment, uh, sorry, a Linux desktop environment. I haven't actually installed a version of Linux on here. There is just, uh, I mean, Chrome OS is based on Linux. So uh, under the under the hood, you know, there's a Linux engine. Um, but I haven't actually installed a Linux desktop. So these are running as individual standalone Linux apps in Chrome OS. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. And there you go. So Blender is now up and running and uh, good to go. And I guess... Uh, it's been a long time since I've played with Blender, so I don't know what I'm doing here, but I will have a play with that. Uh, and that's how that works. Have fun.